Hello you know, guys, Kent from Kent's Paint Shack back here with um, another part of my uh, Greek light cavalry from Vitrix um, and so I'm going to be doing a, a, a few a few videos on these guys. I'm not going to cover every aspect of them, like not every everything that I paint on them, but I'll, I'll do a few different horses and just um, like saddle cloths and other bits and pieces. I'm going to do the leopard skin. Um, as, as show you show you like a wee video on, on how I do that one even though I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that one but I'll do a wee video on it anyway just for a laugh and then um, there'll be a video of it all, all done when it's finished so I'm um, really enjoying these uh, these guys and I hope you are too if tell me if you learn anything from this maybe you've got something better that you that you do um, on your your chestnut horses but um this is how this is one of the ways that I do mine so enjoy the video um, please leave comments um, if you're not a subscriber subscribe I lost five five subscribers just the other day it was like boom gone so I've um, I haven't quite managed to um, click those back again it seems like I've hit 550 and I'm seem to be stuck there so if you haven't subscribed subscribe um, and um, enjoy the video guys uh, get it guys so um, we're looking at the um, the Vitrix Greek Light Horse, and the first um, first horse we're going to do is a chestnut slash bay horse. So I'm using uh, Citadel Rhinox Hide for the first coat, and you want to completely cover all the black. Um, areas here. Um, you might not undercoat your figures uh, with black, that's up to you. Um, I start pretty much everything with a black coat. Um, I've just opened this, um, or got this paint off the shelf and thought, ah, uh, I've got almost none of it left. So I haven't, um, I haven't thinned this one down at all. It's just going on straight. It's just my base coat. So there, um, there are a couple of ways of doing this horse. Um, so what we'll do is we will, as soon as I've done this one, actually now I'll cover the the other way of doing doing the horse in in another another one actually a different different one so we don't confuse anyone because you can do it with um, cavalry brown and in in black which way are we go make sure that we actually stay in picture I am really quite low on this paint I didn't realize I have to go to the shop tomorrow yeah so you can you can paint this um, same horse using um, as I said cavalry brown and you mix um, heap of black in the first one and then you use that um, paint and for the next highlight you mix more cavalry brown into it and then for the next highlight you do the same but um I think we'll just stick with this one at the moment Let's see if we can get at least another horse out of this puddle maybe maybe two so there's okay guys so we're back here um, with the second coat for the Vitrix Greek light cavalry and this time we're using Doom Ball Brown so you'll notice it's a, it's a bit readier so we just Coating all the top parts. 
leaving all the gaps between the muscles. Um, and if you've painted horses before, you'll know that on some horses this can be quite tricky because the their muscles aren't very well defined. But as soon as you see these, you'll notice that actually um, everything's very easy to, to see. It's very, very well d defined and um, quite a pleasure to paint actually. Now, when you when you do the underbelly, um, do your strokes to the back, and don't be um, don't be like one hundred percent coverage. If you can see underneath there, I'm trying to so just stroke to the back because that's where the, the the rib cage when you paint the rib cage in, that's where um, it's going to be, and you want to start having some kind of lines and definition right from the beginning coming through. We've got some music started up again next door. And we drummer boy. Okay, so let's get us in the picture. That's with the second coat. On. If by some chance your horse doesn't have very well defined muscles, um, you should still be able to um, work out that you know, like there's a big bit there, there's another bit there, and you can actually still you can actually paint it in. Um, I really like it when um, you paint different models and <laughs> my phrase is they almost paint themselves because you know some some figures are actually that easy to paint you know they haven't got jagged edges that are going to ruin your brushes back over again and make sure I did under there. So I have put a little bit of water with this Doom Ball Brown but not much because once again I still want a really really good coverage. The next colour I will be uh, watering down. Once again I'm going to flick the brush backwards and leave some areas, I'll not be so concerned about my coverage there. Right, and as simple as that, we have our second coat on. So first coat is Rhinox Hide, second coat is Doom Ball Brown, both Citadel colours. Um, and we'll put him aside and I'll paint the other one, so I'll be back soon. Okay, so, um, so we've got our two layers on, and our next one is Villaggio Cavalry Brown. And I've added bit of water into this to thin it down a bit because I want to layer it layer it up rather than have it super strong to start with it's quite a powerful wee colour. Just 
just want to highlight those muscles. Like that. Okay, let's get real close and then see if we can focus it. Starting to, starting to get it. I had my brush in my mouth, I was trying to talk. Um, and it'll need a bit more yet, but starting to get there. Okay. So once again, but this time we want to be a bit more careful. Drag our lines backwards. Once again, I'll bring it up and I'll zoom it in. And by doing that, you kind of you get your rib cage on the underneath there. So that's how you do that. Okay. And then throw it away. Oh, I got a bit, a bit strong there. Seem to be having a little bit of fun here today. Normally, normally it's not quite that bad. I don't want it too too strong. I'd rather layer it up afterwards. But it's, um, it's not too bad. Make sure the, uh, the old top of the eyes there are uh, got a wee coat as well. Okay, so we're going over the same areas second time with the watered down Cabri Brown. Sorry, I'll try and keep it in camera for you. You can do this multiple times, like just over and over again, and each time go a little bit further, further out, um, so the inside's darker and it gets brighter and brighter as you go out. A bit more and more depth to the miniature. Okay, so that is my chestnut 
horse main main flesh done and um, I'll be back soon okay so um, just doing some cloth here and I've painted it first with um, German camo dark brown and now I'm painting it with um, German camo medium brown Just trying to pull out some of the creases. There. There's plenty of them. Quite like this um this colour combo. I use um US field drab as the next colour in the triad. And uh, it makes quite a nice quite a nice colour. Got a wee belt on there in the in the middle, which will paint a different colour. So, just about done. Just a wee bit of tidying up to do, and that's the second layer on that done just going to make the paint a little bit stronger near the near the top Okay, so that's that one there. Um, right. Oops. Okay, so we're about to do the next highlight on the clothing, and I might change brush for some of it. Go a little bit finer just so I can get some of the details. So I'm using um, what am I using? US Field Drab. Now depending on what kind of look you're after, you can use this one really sparingly. Or, like in this one, I'm actually painting out quite a bit of it and making it into the uh, more prominent colour. See if we can just sharpen it up a bit. So it's more... 
more to be like the main colour on it and the, the layers below uh, we're just giving a bit more a bit more depth lots and lots of detail here um, that you can pick out try not to paint like too perfectly you know it's clothing so the odd kind of like scratching along with your brush instead of painting full in um, can help If you go over areas um, again with the same colour, um, you'll just get it will be more brighter, a brighter finish there. Okay, let's bring it up and that way. Sharpen it up a bit. So, start now. See that I think the horse has um, come up quite well. And I mean, that's just three layers. Um, I suppose there's a couple of couple of layers there of the um, the last one, the red leather. But, um, and then there's just three layers on the on the cloth. Dark German brown, medium German brown, and US um, field drab. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a a wee drop of um, dark sand in, and just do a very mu not much, but just a little bit more of a a highlight. I don't want it, I don't want too much. Let's take it back down if we can. Down to about there. Right. We're just gonna bring that collar bit there out with a few extra highlights there. Bits on the sleeve. You don't have to do this last little bit, but it's about making the the miniature pop, isn't it? So realistically, you stop when you're when you're happy. And as I said before, um, 
the US field drab in a lot of cases is my final highlight and I don't bring bring it down quite as much as this but I think in this case it's worth adding that extra layer bring that up closer. Oh, first, um, so that's what we had before. That's with um, two layers on. And then we've now got this one. So let's bring it really close. If I can, and where's Sharp? I don't know if we're about Maybe that's too close. The camera's struggling. Now let's uh, put the automatic focus on. Right, we'll just go back down there. And yeah, we'll see if we can bring it back into focus. There Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, so I'm sure we can get a little bit closer. Okay, so that's with that on. If I tilt it that way, there we go. And that's with just the, the second layer on. So you can see it's it's worth adding those extra layers in. Okay, and that's where I'm going to stop today. Um, because it's time for me to disappear. So um, thanks for watching guys um, and hopefully that's been of help um, and I will continue to do more um, so you can see how I'm getting these Greeks done. Cheers guys, take care.